Hello my cuties of all cutinesses! Here is another one of my crazy combination request looks! This one is requested by... Kimberly Mall! Thank you so much Kimberly for asking for this clowns look eyes with pink lips. I hope you like the outcome of this. I hope you like the colors that I use, the theme that I used instead of big white clown eyes. I got me more of a gangsta look and I am going to translate this intro for her just alone. Hallo Kimberly! Dit is de aangevraagde look van jou. Jij vroeg clowne ogen met roze lippen. Wel, ik heb voor jou Gangster clown ogen gemaakt in plaats van van die grote witte clowns ogen. Dus dit zijn gangster clown ogen speciaal voor jou met die roze lippen die je had gevraagd natuurlijk. Dus Kimberly Mol, de uitvinster van deze look. And if you want to see how I created this gangster clown look, you'll just have to keep on watching as it's getting started right now. Kimberly, als je wil zien hoe ik deze look voor jou gemaakt heb, dan moet je blijven kijken, want hij begint nu! Hello my sweet peas, today I am going to do another look in my crazy request videos and this time it is for Kimberly Mall. Hello my darling, ik weet dat jij Nederlands praat en normaal gezien zou ik deze video in het Nederlands doen, maar mijn mensen zijn allemaal Engelstalig. Dus ik weet dat jij verstaat wat ik ga zeggen. En ik ga deze video speciaal voor jou doen, Kimberly. Dat weet je. Maar hij gaat zoals altijd wel in het Engels zijn. Misschien zorg ik wel voor ondertitels. Wie weet. Deze is voor jou, meisje. Zo, so, to start this make-up off, I'm gonna do a face base, of course. And I'm... I've already moisturized very well. And now I am taking a silicone-based primer. And I am going to bring that very well onto my face, of course. Now this makeup you can easily do without primers or foundation or anything on your face. You can do this only as an eye and lip look. But as I want to do this pretty, a kind of sexy, pretty, nice, gorgeous, clowny look. I am going to go, of course, a little bit further and I'm gonna bring it to a beautiful, gorgeous, total makeup. I'm gonna take my City Color Flawless Finish 3-in-1 Primer Concealer Foundation. Now I'm going to put some concealer already on. I'm also going to use it as my eye primer. I have got a set of gorgeous new brushes. I have not tried them yet and they are so pretty. Look at that. Oh, the handles are all like this. In blue with gold and the tips are in a bluish green tone. And they are so amazing. I was scared to use it to buff in my makeup, but now that I've got it in my hand, I just have to try it. I know I've already used my beauty blender. So I'm taking the fluffy brush of it and I'm going to take translucent powder as almost all the time I'm taking airspun. And I'm setting my foundation. I'm gonna start by filling my brows in with a black eye pencil and that is something that I'm not used to so I'm gonna be very very careful. I'm 
I'm gonna take a little bit of black eyeshadow to set these brows because if I don't do that, they are gonna go everywhere. So, that's that. Now, I'm taking a sponge with a little bit of air sponge and I'm gonna press that air sponge over the brows so that they are set and will not move anymore because I do not want them to change position, you know, you don't want them to move anymore, so that's that. These are set. Now, what I want to do is, Kimberly asked to do clown's eyes with a pink lip. Well, of course I want to do my eyes with pink and purple tones too. And I'm gonna start off with a normal eye makeup. So I'm gonna begin with a pink eyeshadow. And I'm gonna start with a soft applyment brush and I'm taking that pink and I'm gonna apply that to my lid. As my transition color. And then I'm going into a beautiful purple, which I am going to bring in the crease and on the outer edge. But this doesn't seem to give off much, much, much pigment, so I will take another purple. Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for in a purple. And I'm feathering it out because I want to have a large wing shape. My inner corner of my eye I'm gonna do with a light blue. Instead of white or any other color that you'd normally do, I'm taking blue. I'm also gonna bring that blue a bit lower than my under eye. I'm building up slightly a layer that I'm gonna place along my wing. And those two colors will be separated with a black eyeliner. I'm bringing that blue onto the eyelid too. Because I love the combination of the blue with the pink and the purple so much. And it's mostly about pink lips. So I think that with the eyes, Kimberly is not going to be mad at me if I... Play a little bit with color. When I started this look I had absolutely, totally no intention of using blue. But now that I am using it, I love it. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is make the eyeliner a very fine liquid liner and I'm gonna make me a nice wing. For my upper eyeliner, I have used a liquid, a very, very fine tipped liquid, but for my lower eye, I'm gonna take the pencil that I used for my brows, which was very, very pigmented. And I am connecting it as good as I can to the upper wing and line as well on the inner as outer corner. Now with a black eyeshadow you can set that liner so that it's not gonna bleed or smudge out because we're gonna do other things around the eyes too, you know? 
And as you see, I'm feathering this out on the nose and I'm not making a very... Sarah, yeah! Papa! Papa! Papa is working! Papa isn't home! Now I'm taking a very small dense brush and the black eyeshadow and I'm gonna smudge out the outer tip of that wing and I'm smudging it a little bit into the crease so that it's a bit more smoky but not too much because we are gonna do special things and this is not gonna overrule and then I am taking a very fluffy brush to blend it all together there I only want to have a little bit more of a bright pink in the middle there that's pink you know that is pink and I'm taking a very flat dense brush and taking that pink and I'm gonna tap that a little bit on that center without ruining the rest so far for the normal part of the eye look I am going to start to make the special thing on these eyes. I'm gonna need a nice cream gel liner for that and a very, very tiny, tiny little paintbrush. Simba, what's wrong, baby? What is wrong with you? And I wanna have two lines that are about the same. So I'm looking straight ahead and I'm going right over my pupil and I know that there is going to be a tip. If I follow that tip I will be right there. So I am going to make a line first right down to the brow. And I'm gonna do the same, but this is gonna be hard because my skin moves. And I didn't take that point because that point is where I'm gonna place a crystal later on. So I'm starting about six millimeters above. First of all, I'm gonna connect them in a triangle and I'm also going to do that to the brows and I color that in And as you see, it's wildly. It's not worked off fine or nice or anything, because for that I am going to need a much thinner, finer, even maybe a flat brush, but I'm now going over to the thinnest brush that I have. And I'm gonna try to make this a nice rounded off triangular shape. So it's gonna be more running into my brow. Uh, yeah, indeed, my brow. And I'm gonna try to make it as sharp as I can. And as you can see, there's a big difference between the worked off side and the not worked off side. So, it definitely takes a lot of time to get this perfect or as good as you want to have it. Take time for eyeliners. Now, I'm gonna put on some mascara. With lash glue, I'm gonna put dots where I'm gonna put these crystals. Thank you. 
so cute. Now, while that is done and my lashes are getting tacky, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna take my Hula bronzer. A very little bit around the perimeter of my face, but careful with the crystals and my wig. So I was afraid to use my real liquid liner, but as you see, if you do, take the chance knowing that you can always work it off with concealer afterwards this does change the look a lot it's just that one second okay i'm doing it and bam first of all gonna do my blush and i'm gonna take a nice bright pink blush for this taking this angled brush And then with a very fine fluffy brush like this, I am going to take a pink eyeshadow. I think I'm going for the pink eyeshadow that we used in the very beginning. And with that brush, I'm gonna shade around our tips. Many people do this first and then draw on the tip but I prefer doing it this way because eyeshadow can be very hard to work on with a liner on big surfaces that's not your eyelid because on your eyelid you always do that but if it's not on the eyelid I prefer to do it in reverse like this now I think that in the meantime my lashes are ready to be popped on because they are really big you know as you all know I love me a big flary fluffy lash and what I also like is on the lower lash line take some individual lashes like these and put a couple on the lower lash line just on the outer tips where my lash line is visible so on the inner and outer tips I will place a couple like so oh perfect amazing and I'm gonna put a couple on the inner corner I love that so so much it's gorgeous now for my lips I'm gonna use this Ooh. but first I'm gonna outline them and clowns do have that extended lip corner so I'm gonna line my lips like I normally would first And even though it's a clown's lip, I want to make an ombre lip. And an ombre lip means that you put a dark line on the edges and especially on the outer corners and the inner part is a different color. So it fades from one color into another. And with the lips, I'm actually doing the same as what I did there. I'm making a line and then making a triangle. that I connect and color in and then the edges and I keep extending and adjusting until I have it the way I want to have it 
So now let's take this extremely pink lipstick and blend it with the outer edge and that I'm gonna do with a lip pencil that is a beautiful ombre lip and in the middle I am taking this lip gloss that I have made myself and I'm gonna put that along the edges to give a nice shimmery glow and glossy look so this is the final result of my clown's eye with pink lips asked by Kimberly Mall. Yay! Kimberly, I sure hope you like this look. Oh, lieveke, ik hoop dat je het graag ziet. Ik hoop dat je content bent met wat ik gedaan heb voor u. Ik hoop dat je het mooi vindt. En als je het mooi vindt, zet het hieronder, please. Zet het hieronder, alsjeblieft. So, this is the result of my clown's eyes with pink lips. And... As you all know, I did this look especially for Kimberly Mole. And I am so proud of her that she dared to ask for a look like this. And I am very, very curious if she will try it out herself. Or maybe I can do it on her because she doesn't live far away from me. But if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some nice comments down below. Give me some thumbs up. And for me, there's as always just one thing left to say and that is my love for makeup is spread all over to you. And I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos. So for now, bye bye! Sure hope you got that. And that too.